Listen. Listen up. First of all, how y'all doing? How everybody doing today? I am sick of these coons and these part-time coons and these half-the-way coons. I cannot believe that Amber Rose said she felt safe with Trump, that he was an alpha male. Listen, I was kind of on your side on College Hill, but you kicked out the group. You can no longer come to the cookout. You are not invited to the cookout, Amber. Go on over there and eat the potato salad with raisins in it. You got to, you got, we, mm -mm, mm -mm, we don't want you. We don't want you. We don't want you. How you going to have that much belief and faith in a man and you don't believe in God? How that work? You know, it always kills me too that folks that be so, you want to be in with the, with the, with, with our culture, right? You want to be in and then we accept you. You want to get out. Get out. We don't want you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Go on over there with Trump. Now, when he, whatever he going to do for you, I hope he did it. I hope he did it. I hope you, whatever happens, you did it. Because you're not invited to the cookout. Y'all don't, don't let her come to the cookouts no more. She is not invited. And then, and I keep seeing, I don't know if she's on tour with this. Like, did they pay her? Because they probably paid her. Because, you know, they paid for, um, I read somewhere that they paid for uh, the, the, the white congregation that was at the black church. They paid them people, right? So they probably paying her to say this, but you, we don't no more. You see what happened to Chrisette Michelle now? You're going to be excommunicated and exiled off the island, okay? We don't want you no more, Amber. And you on tour saying this? Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go on over there and see what he do for you. Like, some is a part of me that wants Trump to win so all these ignorant ass people can see what he really going to do for you. I watched, oh my God, I watched a, um, I wish I could put it up here. I got to learn how to do the technology. I watched a uh, um, Special K from, um, Special K on what show? Uh, Ricky Smiley show, and he's a comedian too. He uh, was talking to a black guy that worked in Arby's, washing the tables. And he said, yeah, I'm voting for Trump. Shoot, you see what he did? We shoot Trump, Trump 2024. I met an ignorant nigga like that, too. And he said, uh, you see that stimulus? So he said, well, how much was that? About 2000 He said, yes, you're going to sell out for 2000 And you you down with all he got to do and all the rights he's going to take away. And he was standing there looking stupid. I talked to a dude like that when I first moved to Atlanta. He was he said the same thing. He said he went to a Trump rally and everything because Trump gave. So y'all Negroes are selling y'all soul for a couple thousand dollars. He not giving you no more money. Ain't no more money coming. No more money is coming, right? And if it was up to Trump, you wouldn't have got that. Like, I am, I I can't understand. It, it, you know, I remember when we was in school, they used to be like, reading is fundamental. Comprehension is important. People don't read or they're not comprehending, right? They're not understanding what's going to happen if this man gets in office. And for Amber, Amber, you can play the white card. You can go on over there on the side. Nobody would even know. You can go right on over there and mix right in and get all the benefits of being a Karen. You can do that, right? We, on the other hand, cannot do that, right? So stay on over there. Don't come over here. Don't come back over here now. Don't come back over here, Amber. Stay over there. Stay over there. I couldn't believe she said that. He was an alpha male. What? So that showed the depiction of a good alpha male, him? I had to pick a whole bunch of other people besides him. Even if he wasn't running for office, even if he wasn't white, like, I could pick. That's, that's who you pick. That's in your life. That's who you pick. That's what makes me think she got paid. I know damn well you know some alpha males. I know you do. Some real ones. I know you do. Right? I was like, oh, get her out of here. Get her out of here. Like, get her out of here. Period. Just, I don't even know what to say. Like, you stupid. And every time I've seen it, because it looked like, like I said, she's on tour with this. This is a press conference tour of I Love Trump. He's the greatest, right? And I, I would comment, you stupid. Mm, you stupid, right? Just stupid. Um, the elite, if he gets in office, the elite will, will win. Nobody else will win. Nobody else will win. It is going to be over for us. Vote blue. Don't listen to Amber Rose. Vote blue. Okay? I don't like her that. I was, I was siding with her, too. I was I was down with her when she was on, on uh, College Hill. You know, but I just can't expect, a, you know, an ex-stripper to know everything about politics anyway. So... There you have that, right? Anyway, that's all I got to say on that. I can't give Amber too much. I ain't gonna put too much on Amber because she's stupid, right? I don't, you know, 
I just didn't understand why why you thought that was cool, Amber. And so then when you go around your friend, does she have any black friends, I wonder? Maybe she don't. Because, like, for me, I'm almost at a place of, if you're a Trump supporter, we can't be friends. We're not the same. You know, we're not the same, right? If you, Because he's a racist. You cannot be a black person and vote for Trump. And the guy down here, Mark Robinson, he just, he is wild. I heard a piece of a commercial, was it today or yesterday? Yesterday when I was at work. He was saying a woman's body don't belong to her no more. Keep your leg closed. Like, uh, just all kind of antiquated, stupid, retarded stuff. He's a lieutenant governor. Now, I know I went way off of Amber Rose, but I'm just saying this thing here's serious. He's a lieutenant governor in North Carolina where I reside, the state of North Carolina. And he's running for governor. My God, we can't have him as governor. We can't have him. He say the most dangerous, hurtful, hateful things, and especially in regards to women. And he got a wife, a black one. I don't know how she lived with him. I don't know how she lived with him, right? She's like a good old wholesome lady. I don't know how she lived with him, though. I don't. He said, your body does not belong to you. Once you let a man touch you, you don't belong to you no more. Where you get that shit from? Anyway, Amber, you are not invited to the cookout. Go on over there with your cousin there with the raisins and the potato salad. That's where you go. Exit stage left. Goodbye. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching Jackie with a Q. Um, and join me on my live on Sundays at 7 Eastern Standard Time. Bye-bye.